Pretty much went to work as normal, um, what normal people do and go to work. And I work the front desk, I supervise the front desk. I um, actually received a call, um, a guest that asked for a late checkout. Um, I received a call from them and they stated that their hot water was not working. Um, so they weren't just asking, saying, like, my hot water is not working. They were screaming. I don't want to say the type of language that they were screaming, but they were, he was upset. He was very, very upset about the hot water was not working. I said, excuse me, sir, but you don't have to speak to me in that type of tone of voice or say that language. Um, so he called back and said, I'm going to come down to the front desk. I'm coming, he says, in a threatening voice. Um, and I hung up the phone. And obviously that made him very angry. Um, so I in turn called my, um, I called my general manager and had him go check what was the problem. And uh, he found out what the problem was and um, it was fixed. So it was a two second fix. So I told him that he was irate and very belligerent and he was coming to us and he threatened to come to the front desk in a threatening voice. Um, actually he said he was coming to kick my bleep bleep um, or have his girlfriend. He was going to have his girlfriend kick my bleep bleep, is what he said. And so my, my um, general manager uh, met him in the hallway before even getting around to the front desk. So my general manager said, Crystal, I got this, told me, and I turned around, went back towards my desk. He yelled at me that um, she was coming to my desk to get me. Another threat was thrown to me. And um, I turned around and said, then she won't, she'll learn today. Because I, I can just call the police. We don't have to. It's private property. So his anger totally escalated. Um, I was called racial names. And he ran down the ramp, pushed my GM, ran down the ramp, and jumped up in the air to swing to hit me. He jumped up to hit me. And me in my defense, right in my face, I started swinging back. She in turn came, and they were, so I was swinging in between the two of them. I'm smaller than them, and they were punching, and it was a punching mat, and I was so fearful. I was doing for my life. Um, I was placed into the employee waiting room and put in the employee room, but my face was swelling up. I had no ice. Um, they were trying to we're defuse him where after the fight. I have no idea. I went into the employee room. The ice machine is located right in front of the employee. So I got the little bag and I was getting the ice in the bag, got the ice in the bag and him and her came up right to me. So they were, they were, should have been on the opposite side of the whole hotel, but they were on this, our side. They were near the front desk still. And so he saw me, she came up to me and she said, you scratched my man's neck. And she came up to me and I just, I, she came up and got in my six feet and I went to fighting again. My coworker was right next to me, trying to push me back. He came around, both all both girls, and punched me and got me in the eye again. But this time he grabbed my my clothes and pushed him out of the way. And he threw me, and she threw me too. They both she both of them. This time they didn't want a fist fight. They actually threw me, and I went on a, against the wall. So that's how I hurt my wrist and everything because the way. So while I was on the ground. While on the ground, he was, he was kicking me. He was kicking me in the back. This is the last thing that I saw, which has traumatized me. Every second, I have not slept well. I haven't slept. I slept in pain. This makes me cry because he went to stomp my face. Um, he called me a monkey, and he called my told us I'm not, we don't deserve to be on this earth at all, and that he hoped we get shot. I am somebody's mother. This, this is, I train my son to give way more respect to elderly people. I am, oh, I am almost 60 years old. For him to want to physically fight me, for both of them, is very, 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 very hard for me. It's very hard. Because you get hurt, you hurt my kids. You're taken away from people. They're grandmothers. We are people. We deserve to be here. I'm an American citizen. I pay taxes. I, I don't deserve this. My people don't deserve to die. They don't deserve to die. You want to harm us, physically harm us, and you want to kill us for what? The color of my skin? I am a person.
it. And I'm not going to tolerate you guys. I'm not going to tolerate this racial crimes to wipe out my generation. You can't do it. It's not right. And I'm not, and nobody can. I, it has to stop because it's going to be a racial, it's going to get so intense. People are tired of having their children killed and hurt and injured. They just want to go to school, learn, live their life and be happy. That's it. They deserve to be happy. They deserve to be educated. They deserve to have a family. And they deserve to die with respect and dignity. We all have to still go and die and leave here. We all have a higher power to answer to. We're here together. We have a God that created us.